For the last 15 years, I have been guiding students through the college application process. And every fall, I see parents, students, and college admission staff go completely insane. <laughs> Take Amy. Her mom calls me last December after her daughter gets a rejection notice from Stanford. Amy has ticked off all the boxes in high school. Straight A's, good SAT scores, community service, captain of the volleyball team, and more. So what went wrong, Amy asks me through her sobs. What was it all for? Let me share the stats with you. This year, Stanford received 47,000 applications for roughly 2,000 spots. That's an admission rate of 4.3%, and it's a lot of applications to read. On average, college admission staff spends eight whole minutes reading each application. As a result, parents from the US and abroad come to me stressed and confused asking, what are the highest ranked colleges that will accept my child? How can we pay for it? Can my kid make a good living from the career she really wants? And often, parents and students disagree on the answers to these questions. So they, the relationships become strained, sometimes to the breaking point. And the last thing they are thinking about at this intense time is life purpose. But I keep redirecting the conversation to it because the stakes are high. A 2014 study shows a correlation between lack of purpose, depression, and suicide. Suicide is the third leading cause of death for young people ages 10 to 25. That's 4,600 lives lost each year. But there is an alternative. Let me introduce you to Tony. Tony tells me in his sophomore year in high school, I will become an engineer because I'm good in math. Right from the start, though, I see his heart is not in it. When he talks to me, he slumps in his chair, he sighs. And then he adds, almost apologizing, and I also make art. <laughs> when I look at Tony's artwork, I see a singular talent and an exuberant spirit, nothing like the resigned young man I just met. So I find him a local art mentor. I send him to the Rhode Island School of Design for the summer. And the upshot is that he tells me excitedly I will become an architect. He has found a way to combine what he loves, art and math. Now comes the hard part, though, the college applications. A poet once said that our fears are like dragons, guarding our deepest treasures. The college application process, a modern day dragon, is not what we think. It offers teens the opportunity to discover their life purpose and to begin mastering the skills they will need to make it happen. If we tame the nasty, fire-breathing dragon of college applications, it transforms into our ally and hands over the treasure of life purpose. So how do we tame the dragon? There are actually three powerful steps that make all this madness go away and can make the process actually fun. It's what I call the three Ds of talent development. Discovering, developing, and demonstrating our talents. Now, we have deep-seated beliefs that we cannot make a viable, financially viable career out of what we love, that if our kids don't become doctors, lawyers, and engineers, they won't thrive, that if they don't get into the top-ranked schools, they won't survive or they won't succeed. Instead, as parents, we can show up in a whole new way for our kids by discovering that, in fact, there are many financially viable career options. For instance, careers in the arts in the 21st century are financially sound without requiring us to be the new Picasso. Art informs architecture, like we saw with Tony's path. Art and writing inform gaming a $138 billion industry. Students majoring in the arts are 
occupy, are in occupations that are extremely exciting and varied, not starving on the streets. For example, they may not have, they may not have exhibits in the top galleries or perform at Carnegie Hall, but if they combine their gifts with their wish to benefit others, they can enjoy a rewarding life of purpose, connection, and financial stability. The same applies to the humanities, other humanities, social sciences, literature, philosophy, languages. According to the 2017 McKinsey Report, there are specific skills that will be highly valued in our future of automation and artificial intelligence. These include creativity, critical thinking, perception, social skills like empathy and communication. In fact, students majoring in the humanities may have an edge. So what do we do with this information? Knowing this, students can then freely discover their talents. Tony, from our example, certainly found part of his purpose in architecture. But finding your life purpose is more than just finding a career you love. It starts with solitude and reflection. If we skip this crucial step, we risk becoming the excellent sheep that former Yale professor William Derezowitz describes in his book, soulless, miserable robots who excel at jumping through the hoops we think will get us into the top colleges and keep us at the top. A bit like Amy if she had made it to Stanford. If we jump right into action, into talent development, without first aligning with our values and our vision, we may end up heading toward burnout and aimlessness. And as adults, a recent study at Northwestern, among many others, shows a correlation between lack of purpose and increased incidence of heart attacks, strokes, sleeplessness, and substance abuse. This is definitely not where we want to be heading. We have alternatives. We just need to connect. We need to connect with our life purpose. And if this is you, if this is you and you are in this situation, there is good news. You can turn your life around. Excellent sheep are just wild horses in disguise. <laughs> so now that we've discovered our talents, it's time to develop them in as compelling a way as possible and through hard work. Take Tony. By committing to the applications fully, he got to experience the joy of mastery in writing his essays and creating his portfolios. He produced his best work as writer and promoter of his art. For instance, he rewrote an essay on the creation of a circular self-portrait lamp many times over, looking for the images and the flow that would best express the excitement and frustrations of his creative process. As he retraced his steps in the making of the lamp, he remembered details that not only made his essay fun to read, but reconnected him to himself. Both Tony and his essays sparkled with authentic passion because he was engaged in what he loved. It was a lot of hard work, yes, but how did it feel afterwards? Exhilarating and rewarding, just like when Tony mastered the techniques to make the lamp itself. So now that we've discovered and developed our talents, it's time to demonstrate our accomplishments in as compelling a way as possible. This includes both making portfolios to showcase our accomplishments and sharing our gifts to benefit others, which meets our need to connect and make a difference. Instead of ticking the box of community service, or choosing activities we think will impress admissions, we can 
make our work in the community from the very start aligned with our passions and our values. In this way, we find a way to have a positive impact on others, which is the social aspect of purpose. And it gives us a goal beyond ourselves. Tony got to experience this by sharing his art with others. And he did this by participating in an art for charities club at his school and sharing his creative and visual skills through a presentation at his place of worship. Not only that, but he was admitted to a number of colleges and is now a happy freshman at Rice University. Purpose is clearly worth pursuing. And now, I'd like to share a secret with you. Are you ready, parents and students? What colleges are looking for, what they will give you scholarships for, is exactly what will bring you happiness in the long run, authentic passion, engaging in activities that matter to you and benefit others, developing and mastering skills, growing, developing high moral character. Don't be excellent sheep. Discover who you are. And guess what? Every accomplishment on this journey will become the vital job skills you'll need in our automated future. The character traits that will bring you admissions, scholarships, and internships, and the rewarding experiences that increase well-being and the drive to make the difference. It's win, win, win. And the treasure, including life purpose, is ultimately you. So what I would like to say is I have a final request. Parents, students, teachers, college admission staff, counselors, let's work together to nurture authentic leaders instead of grooming excellent sheep. In this way, we will, our, our 20 million, soon to be 20 million college students, will find, develop their talents, discover who they are, and create a joyful, successful life of purpose. Clearly, in a society led by such people, we all win. Purpose is worth pursuing, and college applications hold a key. Thank you.